Hey everybody, Dave Basilto, FilmmakingCentral.com. We are back in Premiere Pro CS4. We're going to take a look at adding titles today to our video footage. And I have loaded some of my wonderful Artbeats.com footage, my golf footage. And uh, this gentleman is hitting a really nice long putt. And we're going to add some lower thirds and some text to let them know uh, what the name of this is. Uh, it's really simple to do in Premiere Pro. All you have to do is go up here into the title area, select new title, and we have an option of default still, default roll, and default crawl. Um, I like to start off with default still. You can also do based on templates, if you have some kind of template you can bring in. Uh, I like to do default still. Uh, because it's, uh, I can start there, I can do rolls and crawls from that if I want to, uh, by keyframing. So let's just take a look at default still, and it's coming in, and we're going to just call this title for now, and click OK. And it brings up the Adobe Titler. Now my title is right here, I'm going to drag this right now up into the titles, because I like to be nice and neat. So now we've got our titles uh, going on here. Uh, this is the titler, and you can see on the left-hand side here, I've got all my tools, my rotation tool, text tools. I can do text horizontal or vertical. I can also do it, uh, make paths, which is really cool, and an area type tool. Uh, I've got my pen tools. I want to add, add some different um, anchor points. Uh, my uh, rectangle tools that I can draw, uh, you know, ellipses, rectangles, uh, and we're going to do that in a second. This shows what color uh, my fonts is and everything. Uh, and down here is the line center distribute when you're doing text. Uh, on the right hand side is going to be all the properties and we're going to take a look at all that. But very simple tool to use. Uh, if I just choose my text tool, type in here and write I'm typing and go back to my selection tool, I have some type. It's really simple. It's overlaid. I can uh, go over to the right-hand side here and adjust my opacity. I can uh, adjust the positions. I can also do that by dragging. Uh, width and height. I can do the rotation if I wanted to do some kind of fun thing. Uh, and here I can choose fonts. So I wanted to change my font to something different. I can choose any font I'd like. Uh, I can choose regular, regular bold, font size, so maybe this is too big. I want to go down to 50%. It'll let me do that. Uh, my aspect ratio, so I want to make it wider or narrower. Uh, leading, kerning, tracking, all of these things that you would see in any kind of uh, text editing type of uh, word or, or uh, pages, anything like that. Uh, down here I have an opportunity to do my fill. So if I, right now I have it filled with a solid and it's solid white. Let me just uh, choose something a little brighter so we can all see it. And maybe a little thicker. That's pretty bright. <laughs> Let's see, a little less bright. There we go. So, I've got this there. Now, if I want to choose a gradient, I have an opportunity to do linear gradients here. And we can do something like that. And uh, can choose. Oh, thank you for saving the project. You can go into radial gradient, uh, four color gradients, bevels, uh, eliminate, which I don't know why I would do that and ghost. So I'm just going to stay in solid for a moment and we're going to choose our color once again. And I can also go into um, choosing textures if I wanted to, add something in there, bring a texture in. Uh, sheen, if I think there should be some kind of sheen. And we can change the angle, which is kind of cool, like a little glare there. Um, don't need that for now. Don't need texture. Let's close that up. Strokes. If I want to add um, an outer stroke, we can click Add and start uh, doing depth. 
Make it a little bevel look there, kind of cool. Let's get out of that for now. And of course, drop shadows and uh, make that 3D, 3D look. Do distance and uh, we can change the angle a little bit. And really simple to do, right? Uh, down below here, and let's just get out of that. Let's go back to the basics. Down below here are a bunch of title styles that you can choose that are uh, presets. So if I click there, uh, this one I'm typing, kind of cool. Uh, I got black. Just really cool, simple stuff on the fly that you can start with and then completely tweak out um, as, as you know any way you'd like to. So comes with a bunch of stuff. Very simple to do. Okay, so let's get out of this and let's create a small lower third. So maybe I want to have a bar going across here and put the name of my company. Um, so maybe I want to be a little bit uh, artistic and I want to go something like this. Actually, I don't want that. Let's get rid of that. I believe it's because I have this selected still. And I just want normal. Um, let's just go here. Got my bar going across. And these lines here are title safe lines. So if you're watching on television, uh, on this movie screen, you're going to want to have these on for the web. Not that big of a deal, but... So I've got uh, my background. I'm sorry, let's reselect it. Now, let me just change the color because it's hard to see something. In the, maybe something a little orangey. So I have this uh, bar I made just by clicking here and dragging. Um, I can go into the uh, handles here and change the height and change the width. Do anything I'd like. I can, where am I, uh, add a shadow to this if I wanted to, I don't know why I would, I can add strokes, I can add outer strokes, and uh, of course change the colors of them. So do anything you like there. Very customizable. Then I want to add text. So let's go in here. I'm going to put in the hole for Caddyshack. And entertain. Entertainment. Go back to my selection tool. Oops. Selected the wrong thing. Get my text. Bring it up here for a second. So now I want to have it more centered, and there I do. I just click the center button, as you would in a text editor. Uh, obviously, this is too... Uh, was, was the wrong color. Um, let's take a look at making it smaller as well. So maybe I want to go into 40%, just to play around. And maybe I want it over here. Whoops, let's get my text. You can also use the right and left arrow keys to move things around a little more precisely. Um, and then let's go in here and bring down the opacity to maybe 75%. And maybe I want something drop shadow. Whoops, the wrong thing selected. Uh, I got my. Nope, still have that selected. Okay, let's just get... Okay. Sorry, I'm using a pen, and sometimes it's a little touchy. Uh, maybe I want to add a drop shadow there, just to bring it up a little bit. And that's it. You're done. You can do... Uh, you can add circles. You can uh, do lines if you want. Um, tons of things to do. Your heart's content. Now all I have to do is click out of this and my title is now here and I just drag it on top and 
let's say I wanted to kind of fade in here. So I'm going to click that and go into my effects controls and we'll go right at the beginning. And uh, from there, I'm going to go into my opacity and change this to zero and it makes a keyframe for me. I'm going to go ahead a few frames and change this back to hundred percent. And let's just play this through. If you can see it over here, guys getting ready to putt. He hits the putt into whole entertainment. Bing. Simple to do. Premiere Pro, CS4, adding titles to your footage. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, look for other tutorials on our site, Filmmaking Central. And as always, we love your comments. So leave one or email us at info at filmmakingcentral.com. Thank you very much and have a great day.